Matthew always tries to portray this really beautiful, confident, independent, strong woman. And that's always sort of been the vein through his show of the type of girl that he wants to dress and the type of girl that he wants to create. And I guess we just accent that by adding our little elements to it. You know, We've been able to look at each girl as they've come in and sit them down and work with the textures of their own hair. So there's not, it's not an ABC, let's do a ponytail on 30 girls. It's like take the girl, sit her down and look at her hair and work with it. It's a very loose, clean, soft texture. basically is we want the girls to look like they probably have came off holiday you know two months ago so then they've still got a really good healthy glow so the skin is just beautiful flawless I'm using the lasting finish foundation um, which I've really moisturized the skin well before I applied it and it's gliding on beautifully on the skin just giving perfect coverage the other thing Matthew wanted the women just to look effortlessly cool so he just said, you know, we want them to look like they've had a holiday a couple of months ago, the skin's still got a glow, we want them just to, you know, something on the eye, but not like it's a real statement eye. So we're using the new Rimmel Glam Eyes, and I'm using this shade. What do I love about his clothes? Lots of things. <laughs> They're very beautiful, very wearable. I used to ride. I used to ride letters. I used to sign my name. I used to sleep at night. He always brings joy to the fashion week because his colours and his vibrancy is never dull. I mean, all those seasons when, you know, you'd go to shows and it was grey and beige, then you'd come to Matthew and it was like, yeah! He makes you happy. I'm a big, big fan of Matthew. It's like, I love, it's one of my highlights for every season coming to London and just in general in Fashion Week. I always look forward to seeing his collections for sure. They're beautiful, you have color, they make you feel good. It's like a confidence and you know, I think that women, you know, always should have confidence but I think putting on a piece of Matthews, it gives you that amazing feeling. Every time there's something quite fun about them and, and um, as, a, as a woman you kind of really feel quite feminine in his clothes even though they have a little bit of edge to them every season. He manages to get that fine line between being pretty and beautiful and feeling, you know, the, the woman feels like a woman when they wear his clothes. This season I was kind of interested in an artist that I found, this Russian artist that transports these amazing sculptures that are made out of mirror and he puts them in the wilderness like in some sort of barren landscapes. So I was really fascinated with that contrast and I wanted to get that into this collection. You know, a nomadic spirit, sort of blanket coats and so on, but then also some really sharp graphic tailoring and sort of precise qualities, so it was a real juxtaposition. There's some really couture-like pieces, there's a real sense of luxury and craftsmanship in lots of that collection. Just, you know, incredible skills that have gone into making beaded dresses or the sequin parka, for example. So, yeah, I have a, a, I have a top, top ten list. We're launching the MW Diffusion line at the moment and that's really about sort of, you know, a lower price point and a sense of more of an urban spirit. It's kind of, you know, more centered around day pieces. I guess in, in my head, I think of it as the younger sister. It was just a really simple request from the British Fashion Council and a collaboration with Sony. 
And, you know, they said, would you like a CD? I'm like, of course I'd like a CD. Who wouldn't like to have their own CD? So I was thrilled to collaborate with them. Yeah.